Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson. This is going to be the final lesson in our series on charcoal still life drawing, kind of loose charcoal still life drawing. Um, and if you remember rightly, we got up to this stage where the shoes sort of rendered in fairly well. We're not going to add too much detail over the top of this. Um, and today we're just going to, if I zoom out a little bit, look at kind of developing this background, getting kind of a flow of tones that you like in the background. Um, working a little bit on this tabletop and then subsequently just doing the final little bits of detail on the shoe <clears throat> there's some sort of brogue detailing and that sort of thing that we're going to look at as well um, yeah so we're still working I'm going to be working still in HB and I'm going to start just working on the background um, the first thing I'm going to do is just, I want to even out, to a certain extent, even out the background. So the areas that kind of touch on the shoe have to have fairly consistent tone. Because if they're too patchy, you can't quite, you won't be able to quite read the shoe properly. I'm going to make it pretty black, the background pretty dark. But then as the background moves further away from the shoe, we still want to keep this texture so it's just kind of start to taper out into those textures, but we don't want to interfere with them too much. You may have seen just there, I just kind of lost one of those nice little splodges. So that's what we want to avoid. We want to even the background out sufficiently around our subject to make it read correctly because we're still going for a fairly, fairly representational finish in the subject itself. But at the same time we don't want to lose that nice that nice texture that we developed early on in this drawing. So you might need to cross hatch a bit, kind of work backwards and forwards. As always in charcoal, it's best to kind of build tone up slowly. Don't press too hard. Um, it's not the end of the world if you press hard. You can always go back and erase, but if you can avoid it, it's easier to get it right the first time you pass over. Adding tone than having to subtract. I'm going to try to make sure my table level lines up on either side. So we're nearly there with the top section of this background. This right side just needs a little bit more evening out. Might need to sharpen my, my charcoal a little bit. See much easier it is to be detailed when your charcoal is nice and sharpened. And I'll just refine this edge slightly while I'm at it. Although I don't want to go too dark right at this edge. I'll soften that out a little bit. then 
work my way down. I think we started in the last lesson working slightly on this tabletop. Just add a little bit more. to this gradient coming down from the back of the table. We don't have to get too tight with this because the focal point is the shoe. using a, a B here because I don't need to be too accurate I just want to darken underneath the table edge yeah something like that's fine so it's alright for it to be scratching and loose as we say or as we've said in other parts of the drawing we want to create a sense of progression towards this shoe, the shoe being the most detailed point. And then as we sort of move away from the shoe, it becomes looser. too bad um, I think as far as the backgrounds concerned fairly happy with that progression so what we're gonna do now is just gonna go through and slowly add points of detail to the shoe but it's getting pretty close to being finished um, happy with the general forms of the shoe reads well within the scene without being too precisely done um, and it also blends well into the background and we've kept a loose background which is what we're after so if we start looking for detail and work from kind of back to front we're going to generally try to get a little bit more detail or more precise detail in the back of the, the kind of the back heel of the shoe just because that's where um, that's kind of nearest to us in, in the object and it, it can work to tends to work quite well to build detail in that way so in the case of this shoe when I'm talking about detail I'm talking about the the leather work so the sort of edgings and um, edgings where the leather's stitched and also holes because it's a brogue and that's what I'm going to be looking for so I'm using a sharp point if you were doing a different kind of object you'd have different sections of detail that you'd be looking for so um, if you're working say from some kind of patterned object it might be a kind of patterned fabric that you're looking for
So as I go through this section that's a bit lighter, I'm gonna sort of ease off how heavy my tone is for this overlapping leather. And then darken it again as it doubles back. It's a little bit of a highlight, the back edge kind of like rocks up sort of the leather there. So we've roughly got, well, pretty much got as much of the stitching in as we're looking for. So I can now go through and just start to progressively add holes in the broguing. So, you can see um, the back edge of this, uh, the shoe's slightly more detailed than the front edge. Um, so it's not an enormous difference, but it kind of adds slightly to the character of it. Um, but yeah, it's starting to, it's pretty much getting to a point where I'd be happy to leave it. So as I say, it's just a sketch, this one, it doesn't have to be super detailed, we just want to generally give kind of the overall effect of the shoe, pick out some details we like, um, but we don't have to get too carried away with tons of detail with it. So something like this is um, it's pretty much what we're after. 
this point you can kind of keep tinkering a bit you don't want to add loads more detail but anywhere anything that seems like an aberration or something that you want to kind of just ever so slightly adjust or add or something like that any kind of detail that you've decided at this point like this this is kind of secondary edging to the the sole which I might add that's slightly darker than the bottom section um, that sort of thing can look for kind of building out any forms that you're not entirely happy with but yeah generally I'm pretty happy with how this is um, so I think I'll leave it there Um, yeah, it's not too bad. You could uh, always keep adding more detail, so you kind of complete this project to whatever level you feel most happy with, and you can work on it to your heart's content. Charcoal is very forgiving, um, and it's a really good medium to practice with if you're a bit daunted by paint at this stage, or if you want to work on it in its own right. It's a really great medium, so I, I highly recommend it. going to lighten this back heel just smudge these tones a little bit Yeah, work on it um, as much as you like. Build as much detail as you like into your drawing. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys produce. As always, um, you can follow us here on YouTube or follow me here on YouTube. And you can also click the link through to the website if you want to get extra um, feedback um, weekly from me on all the projects that you've been working on. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, this series. Um, it's a nice fun one um, to work on you can enjoy being a bit looser with it um, but yeah that's it I'll see you guys soon